Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got A. England's Peas Blossom A Fairy and I'm going to use some black lacy foils. I'm starting this manicure off with Neltix Formula 2 as my base coat. Now I know you're not used to seeing my nails this short. I'm not either, but I'm going to show you guys what you can do with short, short nails. I'm going to have to break Woody out here real quick because, you know, even though they're short, I make a mess. And this is A. England's Please Blossom A Fairy. And this was from the Shakespeare Collection. And I'm getting a lot of that polish off that brush because I got little bitty nails. And I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys know this is a seriously a one coater. I'm using one coat today. Seriously. And it's just gorgeous. There we go. Capping that little bit edge of a tip. Mm hmm. Off frame. But that's okay. So there we go. We have our one coat down. We're going to put some of this Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat on to seal it all in before we head on into, you know, doing some nail art on this. Just beautiful polish. Uh, loving it. Formula's excellent, as always, with A. England's. There we go. I'll let this dry completely. Hi, Woody. You're back again, I see. Mm -hmm. He's such a good boy. Help me keep it clean. And he, I'm going to be just using my nail glue. And you can use whatever kind of nail glue you got. I don't even know where this one came from. There's no telling. But you do a thin layer. You don't want it too thick and goopy. But you just do a thin layer. And you can see it goes on kind of colored. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as it dries, it goes completely clear. See? Voila! It's clear. Now I have my little foils already cut out. You know, to fit my fingernails. And I believe I got these foils from AliExpress. That's where I get a lot of my goodies from because they're inexpensive and I can get a lot for my money. And I'm just using my cuticle pusher to rub that down. And there we go. How easy is that? I love it. And we're going to do my ring finger. And these were just kind of um, big sheets of it. And so you just get kind of different images on every nail. And you just kind of flip them around the way you want them. But I just thought this would look really cute over that Peas Blossom A Fairy. And here we go. And these just work great. I didn't have any spots that it didn't want to stick or anything. I just really enjoyed these. And I love playing with these. And I always forget I have them. And I'm not using a lot of pressure on that cuticle pusher. I know it may look like I'm just going crazy on it, but honestly, I'm not. It's um, these these are just adhering so well that I don't I don't have to put too much pressure on them. So there we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup off camera, and now we are going to top this off with some posh top coat. You can use whatever top coat is your favorite. And I just love how after you put that top coat on. It just makes that shine. Makes the black pop off the nail so much more. And see, even with my short little nubby nub nails, that's still a very pretty manicure. I just love it. And I've confessed already that I don't mind having short nails. They don't it doesn't freak me out like it does some people. Um, I do want them to grow out long and have long nails again, but I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I'd rather have short, healthy nails than long nails that are all patched up with glue and patches and stuff. So, you guys will get to see some short nail art, or short nails nail art from me in the next few. So, there we go. We're all done. Look how cute. I love it. So, here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below. And thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.